Hey guys, into the Zazel today. I feel like giving all of my enemies coronavirus. Also, I have a blue sneeze. I have a blue brimstone. Counterfeit penny. Yes, sir. Also, might as well use the full card. Get a half price curse room. Anyway, I hope you are well. Me personally, I'm doing pretty good now. Uh, I had to take a little break because of burnout, but I feel fine now. Don't worry about me. Secret room should be here. Cool. Um, maybe something good from this chest. Money. Lots of money. And I do have counterfeit penny. I swear, this is like the first time I've ever been able to actually pay for something from my shop. I don't know which one of those I want. I'm- Oh, maybe I can get both? Nope, I cannot get both. Well, I mean, if I sacrifice, I could. I'll think about it. I look so goofy when I sneeze and I have the fucking- That, that looks so stupid. Yeah, I'm still gonna think about it. Give me some time. Because, honestly, Bogo Bombs, early stage, I feel like- Wow, that was satisfying. Anyway, as I was saying, I feel like Bogo Bombs, early stage is a must take. What? Bone heart? Really? That's, uh, that's interesting. Also, I might actually go on down the downpour. Or I guess it's dross. I might go on down to dross. Oh. Oh, wait. I got that bone heart. Bone heart, bunch of hearts. I'm definitely sacrificing. For sure. Anyway, as I was trying to say before I got sidetracked multiple times, the reason that I usually do not go downpour one is that downpour one is harder than basement two. More difficult enemies and you're just generally not strong enough to fight them. This is the horrified one, right? Yeah. They're all horrified. That's what I'm being told. Nice. I can get both. Okay. Hearts? No hearts. Some bombs, though. How many times did I just sacrifice? I want to see if I can get my angel deal. I know I'm losing out on the bone heart, but okay. Nice. Well, that was a terrible idea. Look, it could have paid out. It could have paid out. And it is darkness curse, but I think I'll be fine. I can deal with darkness curse pretty well. And I do have law and range. I have brimstone. I think because I have bogo bombs, I'm going to get enough bombs to go into secret rooms anyway. Might as well. Ooh, I'm just going to take that. Does it only sneeze? Oh, no, it does do brimstone. Okay, good. Kane's other eye is really good. Honestly, I think that quality two, underrated. I think it's like, I want to say it's a quality three. Oh, the sneeze attacks are so perfect. Oh, you can use them to block projectiles if you're good enough at it. Or I guess not block projectiles, but more so just like shoot them away. Shoot them away, really. Out of all the ways that I could have said that sentence. That's how I chose to say it. Nice. Good job. Tick. I'm not taking that. Get that away from me. Also, I don't even know how I knew that my secret room is here. That was kind of impressive. Evil Charm's good. Might as well blow this guy up. Get some extra money. That was lucky. Maybe my keeper over here can also give me some money. If this guy doesn't give me money, then I know who can give me money. And that is... Okay, well, that is this battery beggar. If I blow up this guy, then there is a very good chance I will get money. Blue key. What is this? I do want to get what was in my shop. I actually just... Is it not marked anymore? No, it was not marked. That's terrifying. Jesus. Stop. Why are you in the center of the room? Die. What the hell? That boss was so hard. I got another bone heart. How does this keep happening to me? Devil room. Contract from below. And also, this is pretty good too. Is it, yeah, I'm going to take it. I look fucking terrifying. Holy. I look very menacing. Well, before I go on down, I might as well check my curse room. I have no reason not to, especially because there's already a heart on the floor. And checking your curse room, like I've said before, it's always correct. Oh, I did not know that this guy was a bomb champion. That would have been a dumb way to lose my bone heart. Now I can pick up this heart. Hmm. Is there a room where I can just like blow up a bunch of pots? Oh, awesome. I mean, I guess I'll take it. I don't have an active. It's bad. But who knows? There's like the, there's the 1% chance that it comes in clutch. Also, maybe I should look for my super secret, which it could be in three locations. So that's kind of a problem. Or I guess, I guess only two. So it's probably here. I just need to make sure that I'm like lined up correctly. This is like a really awkward like place. Maybe that should work. Well, okay. I, I don't know. Uh, blue. I don't want to go boss just yet because I wanted to blow up a keeper first. Gotta get in the extra devil deal chance whenever you can, really. I don't know how I didn't get hit in that room. That was kind of impressive. If you know how to use the sneeze well, it's super effective. Like, honestly, it's really nice. Although sometimes I'll just use the brimstone, especially in rooms like this. I did not even talk about how huge of a pickup Mucor Mycosis was. Mucor Mycosis, my opinion, one of the best quality threes. And I feel like it's like universally agreed, like how good it is. Like it's helping me out with me clearing out rooms so much. Oh, gotta get into my shop. Hopefully something good. Coupon. I'll take it. I don't really have that much health, so that'll be nice for double deals. The problem is I want to get a double deal, but like getting it's going to be 
Kind of annoying, considering I don't have a bomb. That's not the type of bomb that I wanted. Come on. Well, I'm gonna clear out this room. There's a dice room on this floor. No curse room, but there's a dice room. That's... That's interesting. What the hell? My game is so leggy. I mean, I figured out why. All right, no way to increase my devil deal chance any further, unfortunately. I need to update my mods list to include the, the vanishing death sound, or I guess the vanishing death animation. By the way, if you didn't know, my mod list is in the description. So if you wanna play with the same mods that I'm playing with, there you go. Also, got perfection. That's pretty cool. My horrifying eyes are now gone. So that kind of sucks. I really liked the vibe. It was cool. Oh, wait, I have to go down to get to my mirror world. I'm very late to mirror. Normally, I like to be in mirror dimension at around like eight minutes. Um, being here at 11 minutes is fine, especially if you're trying to take the game slow. I usually take the game a little slower whenever I'm commentating, just because I have to focus more on what I'm saying rather than what I'm doing in game. All right, time to kill Blub again. Tainted Azazel is really satisfying to play. Whenever you can land in the mark and just feel the double damage, the sound it makes and the, the explosion, everything, everything about it's just great. I should clear the rest of Mirror World. I really need keys. What if there's like a special keeper in here? There isn't? I'm gonna blow it up anyway. Okay, well that was a nice use of my time. Bill, range down. Does that matter? Also, I just realized a size down as tainted as Azazel is bad because that makes the sneeze heal less range. There's a super secret or I guess a super tinted rock in this room. That's pretty cool. Not every day that this happens. I can get into my dice room. So maybe my dice room is a dice room five and I can get the stuff that I wanted to get for my shop. So that's that's also cool. I mean, if it's a dice room four, I'll consider rerolling. But also the items that I have in there are good because I have habit and what was the other one? Compass? Or is that last floor? I can't even remember at this point. Anyway, three. Sure, I'll use it now. A lot of trinkets, it seems. I mean, if I got anything better than perfection, so far that's a no. I like using Dice Room 3 to reroll pickups in the shop into the item because it does that quite often, I feel like. It didn't do that this time, though. And also, yeah, that was uh, that was last shop that I had to pass up, Habit and Compass. I could have blown up my donation machine, but I didn't want to. Even though I do have 900 coins in it, it's just like, I'd rather kind of keep it around that number because I don't want to have to refill it from the ground up. Um, I should go into my item room. I really think it's only smart to go into your boss if you already have a 100% chance. Because you might as well min-max all the chance that you can get. Uh-oh. Anyway, you might as well min-max all the chance that you can get. Such as blowing up keepers or, you know, other things. Speaking of keepers to blow up. I basically, I used two bombs for blanket. Because I blew up a keeper. I got two pennies. I blew up the nickel keeper. I got five pennies. Because I got a nickel. So yeah, it was just two bombs for blanket. That's so worth Especially because of how good Blanket is. I want to call Blanket undervalued. I think I'd call Blanket underappreciated. Anyway, Gertie. I don't like this guy. Sorry, Gertie fans. It's just annoying to fight him. Also, if you're a Gertie fan, that's a very specific thing to be a fan of, but I won't judge. Thankfully, it's actually a pretty easy fight. You can just get owned by them, though. Anyway, in here, absolute ass. I mean, okay, I guess I'll take duality. And you know what? Sure, I'll take Sanguine Bond. And I'll use it a couple times as well. See what I can get. Some money. That's nice. And some black hearts. Okay. I'll use it one more time. Okay, never mind. I'm going to use it uh, two more times. Oh my god. The gambling? Okay, that that was a sufficient gambling session. Also, Curse of the Unknown? I kind of don't want to deal with that. What do we got here? No curse. Well, okay. I'm definitely going mines. However, I want to just get back into my curse room. So, I'm going to clear a, a lot of the floor. Jeez. That was scary. The rebound, what? I'm glad I backtracked. Anyway, the rebound from the charging maggots. I don't know what the name of the actual enemy is. I just call them charging maggots. The rebound almost got me owned, epic style. That would have been such a tragic way to lose perfection. And such a typical way for me too, actually. Considering how often I lose perfection on like caves too. Hera, that's really cool. The problem is that doesn't work with brimstone. So that really sucks. But basically, it's just... Oh, it does work with brimstone. Okay, my correction is that it does not open up secret room walls. I have to be a little careful in this stage, though. Well, okay, I have no excuse to not break all mushrooms that I see now. It may take me some time, but it's definitely worth. All right, curse room. What do I got? Soul heart. So I get, I get a refund for coming in here. I shit myself, and I'm not getting a refund. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't shit myself because it wasn't a relax bill. I just had bad gas. 
I don't know. Anyway, time to walk all the way back to the boss. That's gonna be fun. This floor is so like, I don't know how to describe it. Not linear? This floor is so not linear. Might as well clear out this room too. And I don't want to sacrifice, even though that there are a lot of hearts on the floor. I think I'd rather wait until I can get to a floor where there's even more hearts. And also, I already got my deal on that floor. So if I get like a floor where I don't get my deal and I have a sacrifice room and I have a bunch of hearts, then I'll play it. Okay, this is looking good. If I don't get my deal and if there's a sack room, then things will be well. I have Terra. I don't need to, you know, break rocks with uh, with bombs. I can just break them with my brimstone. I just broken this rock. This room is so annoying. Where are the enemies? Oh, they're over here. Are they still going? Oh God, they are. Lost contact. That's good. I'm not trying to speed run today. I don't I don't need to go fast. I'm fine with backtracking, clearing out some rooms. Hellas baby, it's good. People gotta stop sleeping on quality one items. There's a lot of quality one items that can just straight up carry you. Or at least make your life a lot easier. I don't know about carry actually. Carry's a little bit too strong of a word. Okay, nothing down here but a bunch of pickups. I'm set on pickups. This run also would be going a lot faster if I had more than one speed on mines. But I'm not destined to get good speed considering on my Eden streak file, the run where I had 0.5 speed. That was pretty cool. Nobody knows what I'm talking about other than maybe like a few select people because they were like watching me stream in a Discord call or something. Ember card's really good. Ooh, I should probably just pick up this bone heart. Keeper sack is really good. That, that is pretty expensive, but that's definitely worth it for a keeper sack. This could be per throw. Okay, Burkano. Delirious. I'd rather just have the bone heart. Okay, I'll blow this up. Double crown, huh? Do I need perfection? What do I have? Uh, I, I do kind of want to use... Mm, fuck, I don't know. I have two more floors where I can really utilize Keeper Sack. Maybe three. I can get money anyway. I do have two luck, so I am going to be getting a good amount of chests, I feel like. And I do have a lot of bone hearts. Oh, wait, I don't even have the money for it. I don't even know if I'm going to get the money. I'm just going to pass it up. Oh, never mind. All right, if I can get the money for Devil Crown, I'll consider taking it. I can't corner cheese, so this is actually going to be a somewhat tough boss. Also, I don't know this champion variation. Seems this guy likes to spew a lot of white goo everywhere. And that's, um, if I was monetized, I'd definitely be demonetized by now. Another bone heart. Didn't get my deal, but no sack room, unfortunately. I think that going back for the hearts is the correct thing to do. And I guess I'm just going to keep perfection. Curse of the Maze, that's not bad. I can deal with the Curse of the Maze. That's bad, though. Curse of the Maze and Curse of the Exile. That's, uh, that's terrible. <laughs> Speed up? I just want to speed up. I miss Spectral Tears, but I already actually have Spectral Tears as a basic ability because I have Brimstone, so that's cool. I mean, I guess my sneeze could have gone over rocks, but like that's such like a niche use. I don't think that's going to happen. Store credit. I'm going to have to remember that that's there. I should drop Perfection here so that I can get these red hearts or not these red hearts, these red chests, which there is a red heart there. Okay, well, I got like nothing useful anyway. Ow. There goes perfection. Rough. And it's greed. Oh, steam sale. Um, I would have actually preferred money, I think, because it's somewhat of an anti-synergy with Keeper Sack, and there's not really much good in here. I'll just take both of these, and then I'll leave. What if this actually... Okay, this does teleport me to the other item room, which is all the way over here. Jesus Christ. Samson's chain, huh? Man, what the hell? Why were the item rooms on this floor terrible? Oh, wait, I think I know where my secret room might be. Holy shit. I don't know how I didn't get hit. Jesus Christ. That guy was a fucking crackhead. I think that my super secret, or I think that my secret room is here. Nice. Oh, um, okay, I guess it's not there. Never mind. I lied. Thanks, Curse of the Maze. Okay, can I go into my secret room now? Thanks. Like, I feel like it wasn't that hard. What? Okay, well, I want to see if I can get a reroll before I even consider taking that. You fucker. All right, time to clear this entire floor. I'm not going to make Kush anyway, so it's fine, really. Sure, I'll, I'll use M, apostrophe M, whatever. I'm just going to call it M. I can't be bothered to call it anything else. I'll use it until I get an active item that I would judge is good enough to keep, which that shouldn't be too hard to do. Berserk. Interesting. I don't want to keep Berserk, though, so maybe... Oh, this guy doesn't even give me anything. Okay, fuck you. I have a 95% deal. 95%. If I do not get this deal, I'm going to be very surprised, to, to put it lightly. I really don't want to lose my bone heart either. Okay, never mind. I want to use Berserk. Okay, well, I don't want to use it there. I want to use it somewhere. Don't know where that somewhere is. Why are there two confessionals on this floor? Oh, I forgot about this mod. The Berserk Doom music. Yes. Rampage. Why is my boss here? Goodbye. 
That was goofy. That was a good use of Berserk, though. But that was goofy. I kind of just want to keep Abyss. I'm Okay, but Abyss isn't going to be that good. Because I'm not actually going to get anything beneficial. This should give me Forgotten Lullaby. I just want the luck. And honestly, I think I'm good for the floor. So I'm just going to kill Mother. I don't know how I haven't got hit this fight yet. There we go. What is... I don't know what's up with Mom right now. But like, holy. That was annoying. Uh, I'm going to take my Devil Deal. I'm going to go down as well. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty good. All right, time to use Sanguine Bond a little bit. I will be breaking some bone hearts, but I think it'll be worth it. I want to keep at least three hearts. Oh, I guess I'm taking Sanguine Bond now. Use this. Pop this one last time. Okay, didn't get much this time around. Now I'm on two hearts, but I should be okay. I do want to use Abyss on one item. Oh, I forgot to pick up Head of the Keeper. To be fair, though, that was so far away, and it would have just given me a yellow brimstone. And also, I just like the blue one more. I think that is cooler. Can I actually use Death's List? Let's find out. Spoiler alert. No. I gotta focus on staying alive more. Oh, you know what? I'm dropping M. Left hand? I, th I think it's worth it. I could get Soul Hearts from it. I'm going to be getting a good amount of chests after all, so I think that it's the right play. I also have to be mindful of this annoying fucking thing following me because of that. The amount of times that I don't take damage when I should take damage in this game, it's kind of ridiculous. Wait, maybe I can actually use Deathless here. Dude, Hungry Soul fucked it. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just going to use Hellless Baby to kill this guy. Goodbye. No more Glowing Hourglass. I can't afford to take any more dumb hits, so I just got to play well. Okay, fuck you. Give me a health up. That is pretty good. Time to no hit the it lives fight. Awesome. I can't wait to do this. Wait, never mind. I don't have to no hit it. Also, I need to remember to use the sneeze. All right, that wasn't bad. And I, yeah, I'm going to go into my angel room. That dove fights good, really. You motherfucker. All right, going down half a heart. Nothing will go wrong. Smile. By the way, where have my chest been? Thank you. That's not good. Uh oh. The last thing I wanted to do was gulp left hand. Oh, I'm dead. Well, that's one way to lose a run, huh? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay safe and have a good day. Peace out.